suffering empty nest syndrome. All the kids are gone. Boss, we're looking for the kids in Sahalampavis, but there's still no sign of them. It just feels so empty around here now. What have we gone and put in the hands of those kids? I don't know, it might we turn their room into a gym or <laughs> put a sewing machine also, in there. Regarding our concerns about Eli. I finished looking into whether or not he's a product of that project. I have an answer. <gasps> I put it on tape. Oh, the answer is definitely yes. <laughs> Alright, time to listen to this tape. Am I the father? Boss, I've updated the mission list. Hooray! I've some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Boss, we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests. We can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet. <laughs> We're making this up as we go along. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives. Why? Huh? are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. So really, he can have the robot. Who cares now? Yeah, who gives a fuck? Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. Though you might still have one somewhere out there. <laughs> but if Eli isn't the boss's clone... Or two! He's so obsessed with him. Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Maybe he's just Learning shitty. The truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone... Bearing a grudge against selfish adults and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, Don't worry, he hates his brother way more. <laughs> but no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. It's literally yeah, against the definition of clone. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample. Not knowing what we were doing to him. And becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. <laughs> Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he You then? took him prisoner. He's a little mistrustful. <laughs> open up more first. Well... Uh, liquid ain't liquid. Huh. There seems to be a real oh, weird sense of perspective here <laughs> on the base. <laughs> yeah. Kid's real pissed off at us. All we did was take him prisoner and just break his arm. Punch him. Multiple times. And then started doing unexplained medical testing. Yeah. You know, the usual. <laughs> what you do with all kids. <laughs> I'd say it feels emptier now that the kids are gone, but honestly, it feels the same. <laughs> Just gonna look up at that crow's nest, see that Eli's gone, <laughs> and not really care too much. Oh, he took his chair with him, too! I was gonna sit well, there. Yeah, it's in the- he, he replaced the cockpit with it. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, Quiet Center Sniper Wolf outfit now. Do not like the wig. Yeah. At least sometimes when we look at the base when we're leaving, we can still see Code Talker. Yeah. I'd be very upset if Code Talker left. As he gets his texts regarding borscht. <laughs> Ah, look at that. Yeah, another one of the, uh, PMCs from MGS4. About Eli hijacking Sahelanthropus. We know how he got it moving. It was Emmerich. What? He used the kids in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. What? We got the details on tape. <laughs> you don't want to hear this. The, the whole base is full of candid camera. <laughs> <laughs> Huey. What was your goal in having the children repair Sahelanthropus? I don't have to I pay just them! I answered their questions. 
They could get engineering no degrees. To try to fix it. I mean, can you imagine a child piloting it? Yes. Sure, easily. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Well, I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It. Uh, Who did you try? <laughs> I, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. The his son that I a, never met uh, and loved dearly. I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahalanthropus. You used him in your experiments. He wanted to get in. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. You're still happy now. Changing your lies to suit the listener and getting by slipping through the cracks. Building layer upon layer of convenient stories until nothing means anything to you anymore. You're happy all the time because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you really? You're not a victim and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. The real world doesn't make you suffer. It's Have you considered that maybe Otacon's just a bad pilot? <laughs> maybe a maybe a different kid could do a better job. Mm -hmm. God, I love that Huey just fucking put his little baby boy in a Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. I mean, it, it was a weight issue, right? Like, yeah. Smaller people seems like a quick fix. What? Why? What is this shit? <laughs> is there something on my face? What What's is? happening? <laughs> Does Otacon have memories of being in this Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to know. What? Quiet. What is it? What? 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 Do you, what? What? She looks like she's been putting, like, quiet heart boss in her notebook over and over again. Yeah. And trying to do, like, the, the, what her last name would be, but she doesn't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a lot of question marks. Man, you cannot stay still. Oh, God, she's looking at me through the iDroid screen. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. It, this is feeling really clingy all of a sudden. Like, this helicopter is really cramped all of a sudden. <laughs> is, it, is it hot in here? Is, uh, uh, Pequod, are, hey, Pequod, what have you been up to? <laughs> so, how's it going, man? Can you just drop me off anywhere? Anywhere. Anyway, I'm gonna go this way, you go that way. Yeah, you know... Let's, it, just, let's just think and hum about this. Yeah, I'm, I am I feel like we got off on the wrong foot with that when it was raining. Like a day or two ago, uh... I still have your boots. Don't know what that means. Yeah. Anyway, that was pretty intense. I need a smoke. Yeah, I mean... Gotta do something to get my mind off all this. This is too too weird, too fast. You still haven't <laughs> talked to me. And now I have become Vapor Snake. Just leave me alone. Vapor Snake believes firmly in cootie theory. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's why he dresses like that. Maybe I can repel a girl with this. Quiet. It would work on some girls, that's for sure. Uh, maybe she, she doesn't. She doesn't approve of the anime box. All right. You know what? I got it. I got to be blunt about this. We're getting Didi back. By the way, Didi is the best of friends with us, which means we can customize yes. him. Yes. But he's perfect just the way he is. Oh, stealth dog. Yeah. Little tactical doggy. And then fox. Ah, uh, ah, uh, everything's a fucking fox. Everything's a fox. Yeah, we're gonna make him a fox. And also, you can you can change his eye patch. Uh, no eye patch. Or you can give him an artificial dog eyeball. Now he's fine. Ah. Oh. 
You should be able to give him the solid eye. Oh shit, you should. <laughs> right? Yeah, leave quiet. I feel uncomfortable. Thank you. I just wanted to be just oh, me and no. my dog. When you get down to it, I think this is really one of the most feminist games there is. Because <laughs> you can make your emblem say pro-chick. <laughs> and... I mean, that says it all right there. <laughs> yep. It's the most feminist thing possible. Pro-chick. Oh, oh me? I'm... I'm pro-chick. Yeah, man. Oh, here he come. <laughs> Aw. I wish if he fell in the box it would break, but he just Ooh. clips through it. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Good dog. Good dog. That's why you need to get a, a D-cat mm. to play with the box. Right. I wish there was a D-cat. Hi. Hey, buddy. All right. Well, let's find something to do. This is Vapor Snake. Uh, we got a bunch of those new jobs. We do have a bunch of new jobs. Uh, and pretty close to where we landed uh, is another side up that unlocked pretty recently. Mm -hmm. Remember how we got uh, the Jahuti arm from that yes. bird? Uh, there's another Zone of the Enders related animal. Oh, good. Uh, it is a. Uh, we have to capture a legendary jackal. <laughs> of course. That's the target. How do you fucking know, Miller? <laughs> Are you a jackal expert? That's unusual. A black side striped jackal. It said jackals were the inspiration for the Egyptian god Anubis. Anubis, the lord of the underworld, is often depicted with a black head. It's like that jackal is the incarnation of Anubis himself. Whoa. But anyways, uh, we're gonna drop in an item that, uh, you can develop very early on. I just mm -hmm. keep forgetting to show it off. Uh, you can get a bait bottle. Ooh. It's just a little bottle you throw that emits a scent that just lures animals and makes them stay in one spot. Um... And it makes it real easy to get the jackal. I don't remember if it works on birds, actually. I think it's only... I don't think it works on birds. I think one of the most confusing things about whether or not Miller is blind, or the degree to which Miller's vision is impaired, yeah. is that he's always the one looking through your goggles to say, yep, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. Like, how would he know? It's all walking in place. Unless the implication is that... Your goggles know, your binoculars always mm. know, and they just make that noise. Maybe, yeah. And Miller's like, I heard the noise, that's the one. That's it. Maybe. Whoops. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> that is one legendary jackal. Yeah. Uh, Dee Dee didn't do it here, because I, I knocked the dog off, the jackal off too quick, but uh, if you have Dee Dee with you, and mm -hmm. uh, a jackal like pounces on you and is trying to bite you. Sometimes Dee Dee will run over and bite, bite it, and like drag it away from you and like snap its neck. Hell yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, we get some emblem parts related to Anubis from Zone of the Enders. Good. Uh, Good dog. Get a ton of heroism and stuff. But on top of that, we also unlock uh, a blueprint for a wormhole. <laughs> So this is how we explain, like, the the weird things done to the timeline. Yeah. It's, it's just a wormhole. Yeah. Jehuti gave you the, the Jehuti arm, the, the wisp sub-weapon. Uh, Anubis, in Zone of the Enders 2, and 1, I guess, as well, was the one that originally possessed, uh, had the zero-shift ability, which basically let it teleport. So, wormhole. Feeling hungry, old-timer? <sighs> It's burger time, baby. Timer. Yeah. I do not get hungry. No. But you have a new hamburger? Well, you guessed it. And this time we use lamb. A lamb burger? Hmm. Uh, you, you're you not a lamb kind of guy? A hamburger is made of beef. You Philistine. <laughs> without 
beef. You yeah, beefed it by that. not <laughs> beefing <laughs> it. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> imbecile. Yeah, just give it a try. <sighs> Why do I waste my time? <laughs> The bugs that live inside me could make a better burger. Not bad. For a fucking idiot. I cannot call this. For an impersonator. I thought we were onto something this time. Maybe the problem is that it looks like a regular hamburger. Gotta think outside the box. Too much baggage if they come in expecting just another burger. That's you me. moron. To make it look like a sheep? Uh, yes. You what? fool! Just a minute. You really think people would eat that? What is it you are planning? Are you using me? <laughs> <laughs> a one-man focus group? Well, actually, I've already started. I got a place called uh, Miller's Maxi Buns. I cannot <laughs> condone your buffoonery. Well, this business hasn't been great. <laughs> No one seems to like my, uh, buns. The they liked them better when they were steamed in that sauna. Whoa. Up, but you don't mean to tell me. What? No, no, no. Our, our black budget's got it all covered. I'm not embezzling GMP or anything. <laughs> still, uh, We've got a slush fund for okay? stupid things like this. <laughs> and wormholes. <laughs> Very Calculina. stupid things. Uh, you know, this is maybe the way for look, Miller has to come clean that he started a, a, a burger so chain. Where on the burger would the cotton candy go? I don't know. Chemical additives. There is nothing mysterious or spiritual about good flavor. The tongue simply identifies specific amino acids. Which the brain then recognizes. I, I mean, okay, sure, but. Therefore, all that is needed. Just seasonings is what she. Yeah. yeah. Like, salt is not an amino acid, and it's important to a good burger. <laughs> products. To be clear, I speak of flavor. The rest is irrelevant. Well, fuck you! <laughs> There are other things important to a burger that he has mentioned. Texture, mouthfeel is a real thing. Yeah. Benefit of others is a joy. Oh, a delicious beef flavor on this dry ass hockey puck. No, fuck you. That's still a bad burger. Can remain in its natural form when we fall ill. Need more than just umami, co talker. But it sure ain't cotton candy, I can tell you that. Yeah, much. It ain't cotton candy. Miller, that's a bad idea. Like the way Code Talker talks about like it's just chemicals. You just need the chemicals that taste fucking good. That makes it sound like he is the dude who's good, who invented fucking Doritos. <laughs> like What came first? Ranch or cool ranch? The secret of the parasites is their creation of pink slime. I feel like we've gotten away from talking about burgers, Code Talker. Can we go back to my maxi buns? You know who's got maxi buns? Hockey players. Maybe Miller should go, like... Like the route some burger places in Japan do. He should do like steamed burgers. Mm -hmm. Bring back the sauna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Have a sauna themed burger place. Steam the buns while you're chilling out. What is important is the balance. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, old timer. You really opened my eyes. I fooled myself into thinking people today wanted high quality, all natural goods. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite burgers were never about that. What they want is something like the first burger I had in America when I went to meet my dad. A Frankenburger loaded with additives. That's the America I knew and loved. I'll be back in a jiffy, old-timer. My next burger's gonna knock your socks off. 
This tastes like ass. It is perfect. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta rescue some people, uh, mm -hmm. which is good opportunity to use my new wormhole. Ooh. Whoop! Uh, the wormhole is the best Fulton balloon you can use in the game because uh, okay. it has a hundred percent success rate. Uh huh. Always, um, and you don't have to have open air above you. For the helicopter to grab them, you can you can float the people inside buildings because they could just get sucked through the wormhole. It's great. Whoop. I love it. Incredible. Mm -hmm. It does look like you might suffocate. Yeah, it does look like you're getting sucked into a void that has no oxygen. Or er, like there there are hell demons from Event Horizon <laughs> that are going to get them in between here and Mother Base. Yeah. Maybe they just have to pass through the hell dimension from Metal Gear Survive briefly. <laughs> Which I actually did start playing. It's, uh, not a... It's not as bad as people make it sound. It definitely, um... It doesn't feel like you're playing a Metal Gear game, cause, but they somehow were able to successfully take the assets from this game and make a completely different feeling game with it, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. So, you went through the wormhole, and it shot you... It shot your container back here, but you into the <laughs> helicopter. Yeah, somehow. That's a smart wormhole. Damn it! This is our home! How can we let this happen? Guess it's time to increase security. Just give me the order. Who did this? A competitor. But we don't know who. Can't pin down a route to their base. I'm guessing this is a cutscene that happens Just if uh, chance, so someone does a base invasion on you? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's there are a couple variations of the you got invaded cutscene. Uh, yeah, somebody invaded my base and they won. And mm -hmm. I wasn't able to, uh... I bet you feel like a big man out there on the internet, huh? <laughs> I know you're listening to me. I bet you, you feel like a real hard ass. Yeah. Eli knew they'd returned. Needless to say, nobody said a word to him. I guess they got a message to him somehow. Eli wasn't put in the corner in time out. He was locked up in that room, completely cut off from the outside world. Then how'd he find out? Miller. Only one possibility I can think of. The Soviet Union has been researching military applications for... <laughs> no, I think Miller just has a soft spot for the kids. Like psychokinesis and ESP. Extrasensory perception. You mean moving objects without touching them. Knowing what card somebody's holding up. Psychic powers. Come on. You see the psychic Come powers! On, bunch of you trudged through a ghost just river. Bear with me a second. One type of ESP is telepathy. Literally just yesterday, you saw the psychic kid pass through a wall, and you know he makes a Metal Gear move. <laughs> Why are you suspending disbelief now? What happened to my big boss? I was afraid of Draculas. Yeah, wait a minute. I hope that's the case. But I am convinced that they have, or Eli has, a connection to some force we have yet to identify. You better watch yourself, boss. How am I supposed to do that? If he is depending on something for help, well, that's his Achilles heel. If you can figure out what that Just kill Psycho is, Mantis, you might duh. be able to use it against him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and the medical team is looking after the kids left on Mother Base. For the moment, they don't seem too panicked. But boss, get this. Eli got those kids to plot their armed uprising as a diversion. Also, he could steal Sahalanthropus and escape. And yeah, kid loves Metal Gears. Gears. He's never gonna get over that. <laughs> and knocked us down. And then there's that mystery kid who was with Eli. Those two working together, I'd say things won't be over for a long time yet. Oh boy. 
So yeah, you can. There's still a bunch of kids on base because you can keep Fultoning children, but you just never see them on base. <laughs> They're just a number in your menu. More specifically, Northern Transylvania after it reverted to Hungary from Romania. I can't Wally believe he's from Dracula Land <laughs> and everything. <laughs> yeah. Powers. But later during the war, it came under Soviet occupation. The Hungarians struggled for independence, but the Soviets came down. Hard. Just like he said, time and again, the country was ruled by a foreign tongue. When he was a young boy, he lost his native language. The bedrock for any developing child. His country, his family, his face, his identity. Don't expect us to feel bad for Skullface after everything no. involving no. Skullface. I will never <laughs> feel bad for Skullface. Like, yeah, that fucking you know, sucks. But you know what? He did some shit. Okay, he I'm did some shit. He was gonna do some bad shit. Like vanished over the course of several months. This Soviet spy hunt rocked the counter intel world. Mysterious fatal illnesses, accidental deaths, drownings, people having strokes behind closed doors. People usually only have strokes out in the open. <laughs> no one knew who was behind it, but all you need to do was look for who had the motive. They were all taken out by a man without a face and now we've got an idea of how he did it too he got revenge for his people but he wasn't finished Skullface defected to the west i do like this idea of like ass. him as um he met zero. snakes he double he as far as their career goes because like yeah, yeah Skullface is going to be the top spy by game, killing all the other fucking spies <laughs> <laughs> and Big Boss is the top spy because he's just that good. And everybody's like, hey, you want some money so I can use you and your legend? Like, yeah, what the fuck ever. I don't care. XOF as a support team. An unconventional special forces unit designed to support Fox, make it stronger. With Skullface given the orders. Zero never even told the boss about it. Nor the CIA, naturally. If Fox was zero silver bullet, XOF was the recoil when he pulled the trigger. Whoa. Just like Newton's <laughs> third law. While you were with Fox, Skullface was operating behind the scenes. Welcome back. Sometimes as your backup, sometimes as a mole or a scout, sometimes as your clean. You know, crew. I don't think he's very good Fox at being a mole. No. I think he stands Maybe out a bit too much. much. Yeah. And that you survive. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I like the idea of Skullface being the, the whole double, if, I, I just wish he was written differently, just like his actual <laughs> character. He, uh, People talking about Skullface is pretty interesting. Skullface talking is just like, wow, man, <laughs> you gotta pace yourself. Yeah. Obviously, like, every time a new Metal Gear came out, it was just like, all right, how do I fit more shit into this? Out of the mm -hmm. stuff I've already written, most of this was not planned. But, like, if if they could have planned Skull Phase ahead of time and he had been foreshadowed this whole time, it would have been cool. What? Snake? What you're eating? Oh, shit! Oh, man, it's Galvez. It's all coming back, all coming back to me now. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason this time when you come in, she she just drops the book, but you can't give her a new photo, even if you've got one. Hmm. You just gotta pick up this book for her. It's weird. Alright, well... Anyway, you should probably wash those feet, I guess. You will come back, right? I mean, yeah, I got more pictures for you, but you don't want to look at them right now, so I'll come back later. You want food? Do you eat? What do you think she does with the pictures? Huh? <laughs> chemical additives. Mm. Gonna have some chemicals for lunch. It's just what a developing body needs, <laughs> big boss. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out before you get a Polaroid rage. <laughs> uh, 
we haven't heard the soldiers talk in a while, so I'm just kind of running around just listening to what people say, because they got new stuff to say. Yeah. So, about the side effect of that shot. You mean how we're all infertile now? You got kids? Nope. Not that I ever planned on getting married. You You're proposing to me, bud. <laughs> Never doing that again. Because, well, yes. Guys to have them, of course. Most of them probably gave up on the idea of family life when they joined. Still, it beats dying. Being a mute all your life. Yeah, I guess it does. Uh, I just really had a lot of my self identity tied up in my sperm for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. So there are like set points where soldiers can have conversations, and sometimes I wanted like specific ones to show up, and they just fucking wouldn't. <laughs> so I would just have to spend forever just w slowly watching dudes walk around. And like, if you get in a soldier's way and they're like, Oh, hey, boss, and they see you, sometimes that like prevents the conversation from ever happening. So I have to like sneak around my own employees <laughs> so I can snoop on them. Yeah, yeah, you really are the big boss. <laughs> Talking on the job, this is going to come up in your performance review. <laughs> has been going to that area under construction a lot lately. Yeah, saw him myself. There's something in there. He's probably just keeping tabs in the building. I've seen him watching us, too. Don't let him catch us. You mean, like, right now? <laughs> I've seen him watching us. You know, right there. Hey, hi! What's up, boss? Hungry Gibbon, Madhound. I'm watching you. As you are well aware. <laughs> it ain't a secret. I watch everyone. What's currently under construction? Uh, so... When you visit Paz, there's a room off the side that has a under construction sign there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, go yeah. in that area, but yeah. Roger. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. So one of the reasons I actually started playing uh, Metal Gear Survive a little bit recently mm -hmm. is because I noticed, like a few weeks ago, they actually showed like a big gameplay demo of Death Stranding at TGS, and yeah. I suddenly realized, oh wait a minute, I think there are a couple similarities between Survive and Death Stranding gameplay-wise, and I wanted mm -hmm. to see how similar they were just because both of them uh, suddenly have like a, a notice, like a focus on survival. Mechanics. Right, right. Um, I don't think they're super similar, but like when I was seeing some of the stuff, it just really reminded me of Metal Gear Survive. I'm really curious if any ideas from Survive or uh, uh, Death Stranding made it into Survive somehow, in some form, even if it's a different execution. Just because like Kojima s seems to have been doing work for Death Stranding all the way back in 2014, before MGS5 even came out. Uh, mm -hmm. because there are times he was tweeting about, like, oh, I'm doing location scouting, and, like, they're all locations that are, like, straight up just in Death Stranding. And this is what you learn by watching those two-hour YouTube videos uh -huh. of the Kojima truthers, I see. Yeah. Look, sometimes people don't want to work at their job anymore, and mm -hmm. people at that job are shitty to them, okay? Yeah, and sometimes those people are kind of petty about it. Uh-huh. I finally had a decent draft of the lyrics, so I showed them to Professor Galvez first. He liked them. He said I had done a superb job capturing the sense of a young girl's troubled heart. And then I told him that I was going to sink this place beneath everyone. Lyrics aren't my specialty at first. He gave me Wait, that's not right. I'm a student. I tried putting in these changes, they made the song feel deeper, more sincere. That is the professor for you. He always has the answer. With the lyrics finished, I was ready to show Miller. He does not often take things seriously, but all of a sudden, he was saying, Paz, you have the soul of an Enka songwriter. And I did not even listen to Enka all that much. Maybe I am pretty talented after all. But still, it took so much time he to said you have the soul of an Enya songwriter, actually. 
the three of us rushed into the makeshift all your songs are gonna do really good on cd compilations advertised on television hell yeah i sang the main melody and professor galvez improvised a backup melody i know the professor is smart but is there anything he cannot do and Miller's guitar playing is that a clue that she's actually military she doesn't think of harmony she thinks of backup <laughs> I thought I had learned the song well enough listening to the tape as I wrote the lyrics, but I had trouble with the pitch and kept missing the rhythm. I have to practice, but there's almost no time left. It is just three days until peace day. Wait, I thought there were three days left before. I went and checked today's date with Miller and the professor. The day has not changed. It is the same day. Something is strange. Am I reliving the same day? Oh my god, watch out for Adam Sandler. You're not gonna like where this goes. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Boss, one of our staff has been captured by the enemy. He was on the staff at Mother Base nine years back. Get our man out of there, boss. So that sort of confirms that, like, yeah, she's doing these tapes of her memories, mm -hmm. but in there... Who is she... When she says she talks to the professor, is that just more memories of conversations she had with the professor? Is there like I guess? someone is Ocelot the new professor in her mind? Oh jeez. Well that's familiar. Mm-hmm. Man, old days, huh? How many times we gotta save your ass? <laughs> Jesus Christ, just make your fried eggs jiggle like boobies and get out of here. What took you so long? We'll talk, but not here. The, uh, the JF Ray eyewear sponsorship that's in this game, uh, Kojima's still has JF Ray eyewears shown up in Death Stranding as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, just kept that relationship going. He kept that strand alive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, either you rescue Kojima through this side up, or you just get him at a certain point in the game like we saw a mission or two ago, or an episode or two ago. Um, this mission becomes available a lot earlier in the game if you transfer your save data from Ground Zeroes mm -hmm. over. If you, and also if like if you had rescued him in Ground Zeroes as well. Right. Um. But yeah. Uh, who knows if it'll be like this in the the final game when Death Stranding comes out? But uh, in previous gameplay stuff, Kojima is also in that game as well. He's just one of the weird black goop human people that comes out of the ground to grab Norman Reedus. <laughs> Back to base. We're just doing side ops to just kind of pass the time so more story stuff triggers at this point. <laughs> I gotta play the game so the game will happen. Damn. Yeah. Hurry up. Oh, before I phoned Kojima, I should have asked him to tell me everything about the ruse he's been doing for five <laughs> years. <laughs> five year long plan. It turns out I actually hate Guillermo del Toro. Boss, we have an emergency. There's been another outbreak of the vocal cord parasites what? on the base. Several men are dead. God damn it. We started in the laboratory on the quarantine. Who didn't get neutered? Radiation leak occurred. I'd only just deployed the security team. I've sent in a rescue team to help, but they haven't returned. Boss, I need you on this. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Can't anybody keep any of the shit locked down while I'm gone? Here we go again. There's been another outbreak in the I was having so much fun being a figurehead for Global War, but it turns out <laughs> I actually have to run my company. Uh, uh. We got a backup team ready to go. 
Just give the order and I'll, I'll go alone. Boss, what are you... There's no need for that. We can't afford to lose anyone else. We have no idea what's going on exactly. in there. Exactly. Anyone still alive is at their breaking point. Last thing we need is another unit storming in. No telling how they'd react. And hey, they won't see you coming. <laughs> Your big boss. <laughs> Fine. First off, check how much the infection has spread. Rescue comes next, after we know the situation. When you're ready to move, just use the iDroid. <laughs> <laughs> do that video game thing you do. To be continued. <gasps> it's real again. It's real.